In Creo Parametric 10.0, you can now analyze reflections in the Visual Field Analysis tool. Let's take a look at that. I will click on the Analysis tab in the ribbon, and on the far right-hand side is the Visual Field command. And let me show you how this worked in Creo Parametric 9.0. First, you would select a point representing your eye. Then you would select what you are looking through. And then we can add in any obstructions. And I'm going to use my selection filter just so I can get to components quicker. So I can select the component that contains the searing column. And let's increase the distance of the field. Let me make it 4,000. And that way we can see ergonomically what the driver would be capable of seeing through the front windshield. And you can hit the check mark. That'll end up generating this as a surface in your model. Let me select it and hide it. Now let me show you the new functionality in Creo Parametric 10.0. I'm going to rotate around to the back side so that I can see one of the mirrors in the assembly. Let's go to Visual Field. And once again, I will select the point that represents the eye. But now we have a button that we can change to a reflection analysis as opposed to doing the direct viewing. You also have that reflection choice as a button in the cones tab. Now I will select the surface that will represent my mirror. Let's click on it and you can see the visual field from the eyeball reflected on that surface. In addition, you can add rotation angles to the reflection. Let me turn on my datum axis display and first I will select say this axis in the mirror part. You can enter in a value directly, but you also have a drop down list where you can choose either negative 15 degrees or positive 15 degrees. So I'll choose that and you can see how the reflection angle changes. Let's go once more. What did I pick last time? Let's try negative 15 this time. And you can see how it changes a lot. Let's go back to zero. And then you can add in a second additional axis if you want. Let me select this as the axis and let me enter in a value manually this time of 25 degrees. You can see how it's pointing up. Let's do negative 30 degrees or we can go back to zero. And so there you see how the reflection analysis works in Creo Parametric 10.0.